PMS workers from Greenville and Green County recently made a request for an increase in staffing and they're on track to receive at least what they partially what they asked for. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Diamond and I'm Casey Marler. The EMS department was preliminarily granted two out of the eight positions requested. News Channel 11's Leah Johnson learned why this decision was made and the impact it could have. The Greenville Green County EMS Department has asked the County Budget Committee to make space for eight new employee positions after dealing with backed up calls, but the county says they can only give them two. You're looking at about a half a million dollars or $500,000, which equates now to about three cents of our of our property tax rate. So. You know, again, now is not the time to do that. Currently, the EMS department is self-sufficient, meaning a lot of their funding comes from the services they provide, such as taking nursing home patients to doctor appointments. It's not going to cost the taxpayers anything, but we can add that additional manpower and pay for it with the revenue that they generate. Calvin Hawkins, director for the Greenville Green County EMS, says the request for new positions is to help alleviate issues of backed up calls, among other things. I was wanting to add two more for a convalescent day truck. Uh, the, we have a lot of dialysis and wound cares and doctor's appointments that we run all the calls here in the county. So our 24 hour trucks, they end up running a lot of those too. Although they did not get all eight positions, Hawkins says they plan to hire an advanced or basic EMT. He adds that getting at least two new positions will be a benefit to the department. Uh, hopefully that'll take some of the stress off the 24-hour trucks. Uh, it'll give us more opportunity to make more uh, convalescent calls, the doctor's appointments and things. The Budget and Finance Committee will present the recommendation to add two new employees to the EMS department during one of the county commission meetings. In Greenville, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11. Thank you, Leah. Morrison also says that adding more positions may be something they revisit in the future.